I'm about to tell you the truth of the Tesla Cybertruck. The truth that none of you guys actually notice. No one is talking about this. See, the Tesla Cybertruck, it, it, it has like this really triangular thing on the top. You see the design that really stands out and people are like, mm, it's ugly. Some people are like, whoa, it's amazing. And I would say it looks pretty cool. But yeah, a lot of people are freaked out over this design. What is it? What was going on? Why is it so boxy and triangular shape? Actually, the triangle shape has a big meaning behind it. And I'm not talking about aerodynamics. Forget that. Have you heard of the pyramids of Giza? Have you have you seen the pyramids? I mean, have you looked behind your dollar bill if you're in the US you look behind the dollar bill and you see a pyramid and it has an eye on it right so you see three three six nine is the the God's number and I'll tell you why three six nine is the fingerprint of God and Tesla Cybertruck Tesla used the pyramids as an example the strongest shapes in the world as an example to create the Cybertruck as the strongest truck in the world they even try bulletproofing it in the glass and you know what I mean all this crazy things because they're trying to really tell you that they're on to something Tesla is the future you see Tesla Nikola Tesla himself was obsessed with the pyramids and th the Tesla Cybertruck even Elon Musk said is his favorite car he was driving it the other day he was caught in traffic actually driving the Cybertruck it's not even gonna come out before the Roadster it's gonna come out way after the Roadster and he's over here driving it because he loves it and he knows he knows this is a tribute to Nikola Tesla himself because Nikola Tesla he was obsessed with the pyramids and when if Nikola Tesla can use a time machine to come into the future and see this truck he knows this was made for him okay I mean the company was made for him Eric what are you going on about well if you actually look at the design and you compare it to a pyramid you will actually start understanding how the world works and why the, the the cyber truck is actually a key to the universe all right you don't believe me let me show you so the single motor Tesla cyber truck cost thirty nine thousand nine hundred dollars if you were to divide that by three you would get a perfect number right there that's a whole number do you see that okay don't believe me still? Look at the tri-motor. That one's coming out first. They got to release that one first. And it costs $69,900. Divide that by three, you get a whole number. Are you seeing this? Am I the only one seeing this? Why, why is it connected? Is it a coincidence? I think not. But yeah, Pyramids and the Cybertruck are connected somehow. I don't know how, but they are. And the Cybertruck is actually a key to understanding the universe somehow. Um, yeah, <laughs> totally. I'm not lying my ass off. I mean, look at it, dude. Look at the, 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 the Pyramids and do some research in that. There's actually some pretty cool stuff out there. I mean, look into it, guys. Like, if you're interested, 369, there's a whole section on YouTube about how the pyramids and Nikola Tesla and the magic frequency or the golden ratio and all that good stuff, how it's all connected. And there's like this secret truth of free energy. And Nikola Tesla was almost there, but he died and he didn't do it in time. Stay woke, guys. Have open eyes and ears. Do not listen to what they're telling you. They're lying. The truth is right in front of you, and you just can't see it because they're blinding you. They're brainwashing you. It's out there. I wanted to talk about something that I've been really interested in, and I never mentioned or made a video on this. Tesla Cybertruck was announced like a few weeks ago. I was there live, not in person, but on my phone, watching it live, you know, the announcement. And when that truck came out, I was like, holy moly, like, they did it. Like I, I, I already saw like the teasers and everything. And when I saw when it finally came out, when I saw it, dude, I'm like, OK, they took that route. They went all in like a game of poker. Like they took all the risk to make this the future. And you got to give Tesla props for that, dude. No other car manufacturer, no other truck making company is going to do this. They're, they never are going to do this. Maybe now that Tesla did it, will they think to have the balls to do it themselves? Because all these other truck making companies, they're like this, you know, they, this is how they create a new, a new design, a new truck for the year. And they just stamp a, a new price tag. You know, you know how they do it? I'll tell you how. Even a fifth grader can do this. It's simply like this. They go like, oh, um, so you got any ideas, guys? They're sitting at the table, right? You got any ideas? And then somebody's like, oh, you know, let's, let's maybe add like another light in the middle. You know, let's maybe add a light in like in the middle. Oh, and you know, I had this crazy idea. Why don't we just like um, just scratch it and start from scratch? Like, you know, we, we delete everything. We just start from, you know what? No, that's a horrible idea. Forget the light, too. Let's let's just 
do nothing at all and just re-release it <laughs> and just put a big price tag on it and just put the, the new year on it and that's it you know we'll just uh, people are gonna buy it so it doesn't really matter who cares about innovation we're just gonna do the same thing all over again you know boom boom tesla they come through um yeah how do you want the truck to look like elon musk and i know you've seen the memes guys it's like uh, do you want the truck to look really simple and then elon musk is like yes um yes uh, yeah um <laughs> like they ask him how simple do you want the design to be and then elon musk is like yes yes don't no, yes yes so uh <laughs> we ended up with something called the cyber truck thanks to uh these awesome engineers and wonderful amazing thinking and honestly it's genius it is the definition of the future and after that day after elon musk was there and he had to stand there for the embarrassment of the the windows breaking which honestly is understandable truly i'm not making fun of it or anything but yeah everyone else was like wow that happened and honestly that happening made it so much more popular and when you look at what tesla's doing remember they're not advertising anything they're not wasting nothing on ads the ads are the memes they're the internet they're just the reactions it's all organic <laughs> so tesla's windows breaking that was part of the masterpiece now i like to see it this way art is not defined by how it comes out because if you say oh this painting is better than that painting then you're absurd art is messy but perfect the same way the tesla truck was revealed and the same way the tesla truck was designed it was like nothing we have ever seen before and because we have never seen this before and it looks absurd and it looks unattractive it's amazingly attractive it is so attractive because it's so unattractive you get how that works now everyone's gonna look at it and be like like 10 years from now if there's no other truck that looks kind of like that or can compete against that then it's like we're just gonna buy the cyber truck what is, what is every other truck manufacturer doing they're gonna be left behind i don't want to make the video too long so i'm gonna end it off on this one last thought the cyber truck it it's not just a truck for truckers you look at it and is it really something that the boomer dad in your family is going to drive? Do you really think he's going to go out and buy it? Probably not. So the Cybertruck, when you look at it and you look at the, oh, the, the the responses from everybody, I've had someone come up to me and say, oh, wow, that truck looks awesome. I would buy it. And it's a female who never, ever spoken about trucks in her life, except she mentioned cars and specifically tesla so she already got fed the brand and she liked it but also other people who never even thought about ever owning a truck like the cyber truck and would actually go out there and purchase it which is insane it's no longer a truck but wait it is a truck and it does everything a truck should do even better than what some of the trucks do nowadays way stronger even faster multifunctional futuristic autonomous driving dude this is the future all right so that's it for this video make sure you guys brush your teeth go to bed early and shout out to tesla for sponsoring this video i'm lying i wish <laughs> i really wish but uh maybe one day see you guys until then